Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So, today, I'm going to have to tell you the truth. I'm going to have to come clean about a lot of things. What things do I need to come clean about? I don't really know, because I haven't read the cards. <laughs> okay, so I gave this to my daughter for Valentine's Day. I know it says drinking card game, but whatever. Uh, and it, it's a truth or dare like thing. And obviously I can't do the dares, you know. Uh, so I figured why not just tell the truth about everything? Okay, so also my daughter played this game once. She, I was making dinner and she read me like three cards and then that was it. And the dares are really stupid. The dares are so stupid, so I was like, whatever. Um, we played it one time, and then never again. So, I was like, can I, can I have these cards so that I can make a video with them? And she said, yeah, sure. So, hopefully we can have more fun than my daughter did. You know what? My son, he never even read his Would You Rather questions. I think they were just really distracted by the candy and stuff like that, so. Anyway, there's a bunch of cards. I don't think we're going to get through all of them. So, maybe there will be a part two if you want. I don't know. Anyway, but aren't these cards super cute? Super cute. Okay, and I'll just read you a dare just so that you can see how dumb the dares are. Okay, uh, so, dare. Sorry, my eyes are doing the shaky thing, so if I'm like, trying to read it's whatever okay so wear someone else's worn socks on your hands for the rest of the game see we can't really do the dares because it's just me and you play the game and <sighs> that's disgusting ew no to the dare okay all right so here is the first truth that i'm going to come clean about who in this room do you think would be the worst date? It's just me and you. I would probably be the worst date. Because I'm just boring. I'm very quiet. And I only really talk when I have something to talk about. I know I talk a lot in these videos. But they're usually planned. And I've got stuff to say. <laughs> but in real life, I'm a very quiet person and kind of shy uh, so I think it would just be boring I'd, I'd be boring you would probably ton be tons of fun okay who was your first crush my first crush that's gonna be real hard because I can't really remember, like, my childhood and stuff. Uh, my first crush. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of, like, who was my first boyfriend. I don't know. I think, and I've, I've said this before, <laughs> and I, I hate, I hate this, but... two first crushes and they were celebrities okay one of them he's really not cute now but back in the day when he was a little boy when I was a little kid I had the biggest crush on him uh Elijah Wood oh my god him in forever young oh, and the good son <laughs> he was so cute um and then my other crush and this is the one that's like so cringy to me now I'm like mm. I think the only reason that he was my crush is because I saw him a lot a lot because my dad watched a lot of his movies a lot like my dad even bought me a poster to put on my wall 
I'm like seven or eight, okay, at this time, so don't touch me. <laughs> but it's, it's Jean Claude Van Damme. I know, I know. Who was your first crush? Celebrity crush, I guess. Uh, have you ever had a crush on a teacher? Have I ever had a crush on a teacher? I don't think so. I don't know. This kind of sucks because it's like memory, you know, and I've got the worst memory, but have you ever had a crush on a teacher? I don't think that I have. No, never. Uh, okay, if you were the opposite gender for one day, what would you do first? So if I'm a man, what would I do? I'd probably go to the gym because I would actually have muscles and like I'd be able to lift stuff up and like, cause I'm a very weak person and like with MS, I have definite, I'm much more weak than normal people, <laughs> but if I was able to be a man, like I would just have instant muscles. Like you don't even have to work out or whatever. Men are just stronger than women. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, there are some women that are stronger than men because they work out and they build their muscles and stuff, but like, typically, men are stronger and like, I've always wanted to be tall and strong. <laughs> I'm, I'm short and weak, so, okay. What, what would be the first thing that you would do as the opposite gender? I don't know. Okay. What was your most embarrassing moment? Embarrassing moment. Hmm. Embarrassing moment. Okay, this one time. <laughs> and it just makes me feel like bad. I don't know if it's embarrassing, but I was like, oh no. So this one time, and it was probably like 20, 25 years ago. Uh, I don't know, my sister was being real stupid or something, and like, she was annoying, and I, I was at my parents' house, because I was, you know, living, and she, she called for some reason, and I don't know, she had said something, I don't even remember the conversation, I don't know, but it was, something was said, and it like, pissed me off, and this was back before cell phones, and whatever, my mom had a cordless landline, right? So I get done talking to my sister and I push the button because there was like answer and end or I don't know. I don't remember how cordless phone works, but there was lots of buttons on there, right? So I push the button and I just start complaining about how stupid my sister is and like blah, blah, blah to my mom. I'm like, oh my God, you won't believe this. She's such an idiot. Like, and then I went to go hang the phone up on the little chargey stand. And the phone was still connected. There was no dial tone. And she was just sitting there listening to it the whole time. I didn't say anything. I just hung it up. <laughs> that was more just like, I can't believe she heard the things that I said about her. And I don't even remember the things that I said about her. But it was probably pretty bad. Like, oh my god, so stupid. That was... I don't know if it was embarrassing, but more like ashamed or something. I don't know. Uh, what is your guilty music pleasure? Guilty music pleasure. I like Justin Bieber, but it, to me, his music is great, but it's like, like when like when that song baby comes on or whatever I'm like hell yeah like it's just so good and I found out that the writer of that song one of the writers of baby is oh no what's that guy's name black bear I love black bear anything and black bear co-wrote that song with Justin Bieber uh, so that's probably why I like it <laughs> but I like Justin Bieber songs like but I'm not embarrassed to say like 
Oh my god, I hope nobody finds out. So, I don't know what my guilty music pleasure is. Uh, it, I mean, I like listening to classical music. And I've tried to find the classical music. Because for the longest time, I had a radio that didn't work in the car. And now the radio works in the car. And we haven't listened to the radio in like forever. And so I was trying to find the classical radio station. And I can't find it. Does it not exist anymore? Like, ugh. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's see. Would you ever donate an organ to someone in this room? Yes. I mean, I'm an organ donor, but like, is it saying, like, like I would give you my liver or something? If somebody actually needed it, that I knew or whatever, and we were compatible, hell yeah, sure. kidney, you know, whatever, not liver. I can't they do, like, cut off a piece of the liver and, like, it, I don't know. Okay, uh, what is the last movie that made you cry? The last movie that made me cry? What's the last movie that made me cry? It was probably that, that movie, um, that I talked about in the what I've been watching, the oh, Orion in the Dark, at the very end, like, my heart was just so, like, oh my gosh, and I was just like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, but, like, my eyes watered up, that 100%, yeah, it was really, really good. Uh, truth, have you ever cheated on an exam? No, I have never cheated on an exam, I just feel like cheating is the worst thing to do. And I had an opportunity to cheat. It was in seventh grade and, or was it seventh grade? I don't know. It was one of those upper grades, you know, not like elementary or anything like that. And the teacher just completely checked out. She never taught a single thing. She just sat at her desk on the computer all day long. She never taught anything and everybody else was all like yay this is an off period like screw everything blah 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 but she still handed out tests and i always failed the test everybody always failed whatever but when there was the like final test like i, I guess it was a, a final or whatever uh she handed out the test and then also handed out an answer sheet that people could pass around and answer the questions. I cannot believe, I mean, maybe she's fired now, I don't know, but like none of the, te none of the students ever like reported her or anything, but it's because of that teacher that I failed at math for the rest of my life. I was always behind and I could never pass. I had to graduate under a specific option because I couldn't pass mass, math and I couldn't pass Spanish. Um, but math was the biggest deal, you know? And she passed out this answer sheet so that everybody, and everybody passed. But I, I couldn't do that. I was just like, this is wrong. And I, I failed. Everyone passed and I failed. I just think cheating is the absolute worst. I guess I'm just too much of an honest person. Like, I just, I can't do that. I don't know. Uh, okay. How popular were you in school? Not popular. N not popular at all. I didn't want anything to do with the popular kids because it was like, it, it was gross. Like, all the popular kids were actually really really bad they were all on drugs but they were like on the cheerleader squad and like the captain of the football team and blah 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 but they were all sleeping with each other and like passing around stds and they were all on drugs and like they were just really awful people and i didn't want nothing to do with that i could have cared less no i was not pop i wasn't like you know one of the people that got teased or anything like that I was like in the middle, you know, so yeah, but the kids that I went to that were in the popular group, I didn't want nothing to do with them. Uh, 
let's see, how many people have you kissed? I don't know. Huh. I'm gonna have to think. Just because you kissed them doesn't mean you've slept with them, so chill out, everybody. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Nine. Nine? Nine people? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, my eyes are like... Mm. What is a secret that you have never told anyone before? Well, it's a secret that I've never told anyone before, so why would I tell someone about it? We're going to pass, pass on that. <laughs> because secrets are secrets for a reason. I mean, whatever. Okay. Uh, if you had to audition for a singing competition, what song would you sing? I would totally not win the singing competition, but I would sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I freaking love that song from The Wizard of Oz. <sighs> it's a super easy song to sing, but I just love it. I love that song. Okay, uh, how long can you go without checking social media? Days. I don't really care about social media. I only post pictures like on Facebook or whatever so that my family can see like what's going on or like so that I can get memories back because you know how Facebook is like, hey, these are your memories 12 years ago this, seven years ago this. I like that because I forget about stuff, you know, unless I see, them. but like, I mean, I like TikTok now, but I don't need it. And I love YouTube, but I also don't need it. I, I can go days without without being on it, so. Yeah. Okay. Who is your celebrity crush? Who's my celebrity crush now? Because I was talking about, you know, before. Uh, Tom Hardy. I love Tom Hardy. He is such a great actor. But he's also super cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What habit should you quit but haven't? Hmm. It's not like I have any bad habits. Like, I don't rub my nails. I don't smoke. I don't drink. What is a bad habit? I like to know everything. So I like to question like my husband knows if he's gonna tell me anything he has to do this full research or whatever like if somebody talks about something at work he only tells me if he knows the details about it <laughs> because I will be like okay well what did this say and like what happened here and what about like I ask about the family history and stuff like I go I, I don't know why I need to know everything but I like to know everything, and I don't need to know everything, but I can't stop asking questions. <laughs> so maybe that, I, I don't know what kind of habit, uh, something like that. Okay. Let's see. Have you ever eaten food from the floor? No. Maybe like when I was a kid or something, but I wouldn't do that now. No way my husband, he'll drop something and he'll try and I'm like, mm -mm, no <laughs> no if I wasn't around, he'd probably eat floor food <laughs> okay have you ever faked a sickness to stay home from school? I don't know I'd have to ask my mom I don't think so, maybe I remember this one time I was at school and I don't remember, like, if I wanted to leave or what, but I wasn't feeling well. 
I don't think I was actually sick, but I wasn't feeling good. And so I told the teacher that I didn't feel good. And then I don't know if I went to the nurse or what, but she asked me if I had vomited. And I was like, yes, I didn't. But I was like, if I did, that means that I'm really sick, right? So I told her yes. And so they called my mom and I think she was in school or maybe work or something. She's a nurse. She can't leave. Um, so they called my dad and my dad came and picked me up and he took me to his work because he, he had to work, you know, and he, uh, he's a mechanic. So I went to a mechanic shop and, uh, super boring. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. But, uh, I really, I really had fun that day because the office manager had me at the desk and he was teaching me how to like answer calls and put them on hold and stuff like that. Um, and the first call I got so nervous. I like, was like, hello. And I said the name of the company and my name and asked them what they needed. And they were like, I have a question, blah, blah, blah. And so I said, okay, uh, can you hold for a second? And they were like, yeah. And so you're supposed to press hold and then put the phone down. But I got so nervous, I thought it was the opposite. So I put the phone down and then press hold. And I hung up on the person. <laughs> That's what you get when, like, an eight-year-old answers a phone, you know. So whatever. But I learned how to put people on hold, so. Okay. If you had a superpower, would you use it for good or evil? Good. I'm not an evil person. Also, what would the superpower be? I got questions. Okay. We might actually go through this whole stack. <laughs> okay. Have you ever kept money you found instead of turn it in? No. No. Let's I don't think. I found credit cards and stuff and I would turn them in because like I just... I feel bad for the person who's like lost their stuff, you know, just, I, I don't know, I have no memory of ever taking someone's money like that, but I would definitely never do it now, no, uh, what would you do if you were invisible? Nothing, I would do absolutely nothing. I would go inside of Red Shirt's house because I would love to see what happens inside the house. Because I know what happens outside the house. What happens on the inside of the house? I would love to hear Red Shirt and Pink Shirt's conversations. Like, what do they even talk about? <laughs> okay. Uh, if you could trade places with anybody in the world, who would it be? Hmm. Trade places? I don't... I wouldn't like to trade places with anybody. Not really. Because it's not like I'm envious of people. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. Maybe like an actress or something? Because I would love to do that. But like... Uh -huh. I'm, I'm okay being here. <laughs> okay, uh, have you ever broken something and blamed someone else? That seems like something that would happen when you were a child, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know, I tend to not break things, so <laughs> if I do, I would probably just start crying and, you know, it, it depends on what I broke, like, I've lied about, oh no, it broke to my kids about, like, specific toys that make really loud noise. I'm like, oh no, it broke. We have to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, uh, what is something you've always wanted to try, but have been too scared to? Something I've always wanted to try, but I'm too scared to? Probably scuba diving. Like, going under the ocean. Like, 
that's terrifying to me. Other things are in there and like, there's no quick escape. <laughs> I don't know. And I would be afraid that they, like something wouldn't work with the oxygen tank or I would get stuck. Like, uh uh. I would like to go down there though and see the prettiness, right? So, like, I would want to do it, but I'd be too scared because. I get anxiety about stuff, you know? Okay. Who in this room uh, do you think would be a good kisser? Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, which person in the room do you think gossips the most? Obviously me. Have you seen my neighborhood gossips? Like, oh my god. <sighs> okay. What would you change your name to if you could? I don't really care about, like, I don't even care about my own name because, like, nobody even calls me that. Like, does anybody call you by your name? Because, like, I don't call anybody by their name. No one. It's mostly just like, hey, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, my husband never calls me Tina. That's weird. He's just like, hey. <laughs> that is my name. It's hey. Or mom. Or dude. Or bro. But, like, nobody says, hey, Tina, blah, 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 blah. No one. And that's not even my name. If I had to change my name, I would change my name to Tina. My mom named me Christina. And I asked her, I was like, why did you name me Christina? She was like, I thought it was pretty, but she has never called me Christina. Never. Only when I'm in trouble. Where she's like, Christina. But like, that's... It, it's weird for me to say that that's my name, Christina. I would just change it to Tina. You know? And can't you change your name? It's like, if you if you could change your mind or change your name you can just go up to the wherever I don't know if it's courthouse or like you know wherever they do the paperwork stuff get your name changed anybody can do it okay uh, have you ever spread a rumor spread a rumor I don't think I've spread a rumor I might have said something that I heard and believed you know what I mean like I don't know if I've spread a rumor. I don't think so. Okay. What's the worst trouble you've gotten into at school? We're going to pass because it's so bad, so bad <laughs> that I never want to talk about that part of my life ever. So, not happening. What was the dare? Draw a face around your belly button. Pass. Pass on that whole card. Okay. Uh, what is something you wish you were better at? Something I wish I was better at? I mean, I'm pretty good at a lot of stuff. Uh, but, like, obviously, math. I don't know. And Spanish. Uh, I guess learning things like that. Like, uh... I don't know. That's kind of a hard question. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you told a lie? When was the last time I told a lie? Hmm. I don't really lie about anything because it's like, why? What's the point? And if you lie about something, the truth is going to come out anyway. The last time I told a lie, it was probably one of my kids about one of their toys. <laughs> like, oh, it was. It was the anniversary thing where I told my kids that I was going to bring them McDonald's or whatever. I talked about this in another video. It was just a joke, but they believed me and they were so, I don't know, but I don't really lie. Like, what is, I don't get the point of lying. And I would forget about the lie and end up telling the truth later. Uh, would you stop talking to your friends for a million dollars? 
I don't really have friends, so that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> but, like, if somebody was like, stop talking to my friends, like, quit making YouTube videos for a million dollars, that would be really hard. Because I love making videos, but it's a million dollars. You know what I mean? I don't know. What is your guilty pleasure? I don't know what, like, where it's like, you, to me when I hear guilty pleasure, it's like you like it, but you feel bad about liking it, and you don't want anybody to know. But I'm just, I tell everybody everything about myself anyway. So it's like, I don't really have a guilty pleasure. Like, I don't even know what that would be. I have no idea. Uh, who do you have a crush on? A crush? Probably my son, because he's amazing and beautiful. <laughs> I, do, I don't know. Uh, if you had to date someone in the room, who would it be? You. <laughs> uh, what was your first kiss like? Like, weird. It was weird. My first kiss wasn't even, it was just like, you know what I mean? But like, it, I don't know, it was just, it wasn't like anything romantic or anything like that. It was just like, meh. I was, I was like actually shocked. Cause like, my first kiss was with my first, like, boyfriend, you know? This was like in junior high or something. And, I don't know, he, he just, like, kissed me like a mom kisses their kid or something. It was just like, what? It, I, it was, like, real disappointing. I was just like, what? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't good. Uh, who is the last person you stalked on social media? That's the one that I answered on the Valentine Day video. Uh, would you rather be rich or famous? Rich. Because famous can mean lots of things. You can be famous for murder. You can be famous for, you know, it doesn't have to be good. It can be something that's bad. Famous doesn't mean that you're rich and famous. Famous just means famous. So I would much rather be Thank you. Uh, what would you do with a million dollars? Definitely pay off this house, but buy, pay off this house, sell it, and then buy a massive one-story house. Uh, fill it with furniture. Go on vacation with the kids. And then put the rest in savings. Uh, this is the last one. Name a famous person that you would like to be friends with. A famous person that I would like to be friends with? I don't know. Probably like Kristen Bell. I really, really like Kristen Bell. I think she's hilarious, and I, I think she's goofy and fun, and uh, Melissa, Melissa McCarthy, definitely would be best friends with her, <laughs> for sure. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.